From downtown Atlanta, we welcome you to baseball from Turner Field. Today, three-inning Battle Royale baseball between Toronto and Georgia. The Bulldogs will play to stay alive next. Ben Revere is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Price sets his sights, 0-1 on its way. A little bouncer. That winds up foul for the second strike. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Fastball, strike three called, and he's caught looking to begin the afternoon. Stepping in, Reggie Stocker, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Ah, not able to hold on there as he Red swings Hill, through Owen. a pitch in the dirt, and it doesn't look good for him now. Down 0-2. Smoke toward the hole. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Matt Kemp takes his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. He's set. Here it comes. He's running towards second. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. One out and a runner on second base. And it's quickly 0-2. Off-speed pitch, and there is strike three called. And boy, that zone just got a bit larger two away. Nick Castellanos steps up to the plate with a great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. And you know, you hear it all the time, but scoring first really is a big deal in this game. Statistically, your chance of winning the game goes up quite a bit when you score first. So this is a big opportunity right now. Hit the other way out toward right field. Reggie is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Jace Peterson comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. For Toronto, second baseman. Jace this is hit Peterson. high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, Stocker. And that's the first out of the inning. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in, the ever dangerous Mike Trout. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. Smoked on the ground, left side. And a base hit as that's into left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Reggie Jackson takes his first shot now with a man at first following the one out single. Well, this is kind of the way you draw it up. Have at least one guy on base for the middle of your order. We'll see if they can drive him in and get that early run. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a miss, one and one. Yeah, just really jumping out at that last pitch. He had him thinking fastball, maybe even slider. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Oh, not cheated on that one, it's two and two. He's set, here's the two-two. On the move is Trout from first. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Stocker will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. Ralph Kiner set to take his first cuts with a man at first and two away. Yeah, and he's going to have to find a gap to give that man on first a chance to score. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Stocker will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Joey Votto will lead things off here as it'll be five six and seven due up to kick off the second a couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen price gets his sign here's the first pitch mm, a little tardy there no balls and a strike A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2.
hit hard on the ground to second. Played on the backhand. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Striding into the box, Howie Kendrick. He'll get to take his first cuts here. To short. Escobar fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, and Kendrick is gone. Two away now. Christian Colon into the box here in the top of the second, looking to keep this inning going. Fly ball out toward left center field. Trout is there, and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. Fred McGriff will lead things off here as they'll have five, six, and seven due up to start the home second. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. A wind up and the 0 1. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. Batting six, third baseman. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Stocker has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. Alcides Escobar digs in with one run in and one gone in the inning. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Therefore, it is Votto, two away now. Josh Fegley gets his first chance here, looking to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Oh, he looks like he's swinging a garden hose out there as this is cut on and missed for strike one. Oh, can't spot the cutter any better than that. Nothing in two now. And this has been a pretty good comeback from that leadoff home run. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. Tyler Flowers is into the box as we are all set to begin the third. Catcher, Tyler Flowers. Couldn't resist on that one, and he's behind nothing in one. You like what you've seen from this guy so far? I do. I, I like where he's putting the fastball, and I like the movement he's been getting on both his curveball and changeup. I think he'll do well. One away here to begin the third. Garrett Richards settles into the box for his first chance. Now that's popped up, but Fegley will have room behind the plate. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Ben Revere will get his second shot at it now. He was called out on strikes to open up the ball game. Yeah, and he went down on three straight pitches, so he didn't put up much of a fight in that at-bat. Looking for a better one right here. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. In now, Reggie Stocker. He singled his last time up. Reggie Stocker. Price pauses. Here's the first pitch. Pitch in the dirt, and that gets away. And you can forget about the double play now as the runner moves up to second base. Well, they miss with the first one, but then they decide, let's go ahead and just put him aboard here, and they'll do just that. Matt Kemp stands in with two on and two out here in the third. Your attention, please. A new pitcher is set to take over, and it's one of just a handful of submariners around nowadays. Right-hander Pat Nashik. Belted high and deep into right center. Back goes Trout. Out of here. She was a wall scraper, but it counts just the same. A home run. Now batting. Third baseman. Nick Castellanos. A three-run shot for Matt Kemp. And with it, they've left in front now. Three to one. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Grounded up the first baseline. 
But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Chop foul at the plate and we'll do it again. Ready to deliver the one and two. The so two balls and two strikes now. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. Leading off the inning, Pat Neshack, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Adam LaRoche will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Adam LaRoche. This is pulled into right. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first out. The batter, number eight, Jace Peterson will try it again. Peterson. He flied out to start the home first. And he only saw a couple pitches, nope. too. And that's great for the pitcher when you can get an easy leadoff out like that. Ran one in on him there as this is hit softly to third. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone here in the home third. Mike Trout will dig in. He singled his first time around. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. Revere is there to make the catch. And with that, the ball game is over. A few bright spots in the lineup to choose from, but the brightest belong to Matt Kemp. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, and I think we probably could have given this award to three or four different people, but you definitely can't overlook his contribution.